Chapter 34. I was attempting to grow the black apple, a sacred fruit that tastes like whatever you want it to. It was going really well, and it was coming along great until the royals of the dragon land popped in and popped my apple. If looks could kill, mine would slaughter. What? I scowled at them both. Fear washed over their face, and they took a moment to dry it off. Actually, before I answer whatever you need, Nika, help me grow this black apple. Nika slowly walked over and grabbed my hand. We focused towards the popped black apple when a couple grew at the same time. Nika could sense I was happy and decided to ask what she needed. So, we are here to ask for help. About Zim. I felt that Abraham's spirit kicking in and I knew I was going to have to confuse them with the that is not my wife, that's my sister answer to get out of this. So what's wrong with Zim? Well, King Arrow jumped in. He is growing exceptionally well in being a dragon and his elemental magic. Okay. And the stuff that he's able to do is phenomenal, but something about him doesn't sit well with us. What do you mean? Zema is controlling his magic at a level that most never get to. We know he got his memories back, but I feel as if he never lost them. You mean... We believe that Zem never lost the memories that he was given back. We believe that he gave Rika forget-me-nots. Now, I really wish they didn't put me in this conversation. I actually am trying my hardest to not move his story forward, but be a spectator. I trained Zim to do elemental magic so he could train the dragons here. I'm not surprised that now he knows that he can do it. He is using it. I mean this when I say he knows everything that I know about elemental magic. I made sure. They both looked at me with nothing to say. I will talk to him. I promise. I ended with a smile. They both nodded their heads. So you will tell us what he says? Yes. Have a good day, I smiled. Nika waved her hand and...